Hi friends, so today I went to the Metro Centre. Um, I got a little bit carried away with the whole beauty product uh, buying situation. Um, I went into tons of different shops. I went primarily to buy Scott's birthday present, which I did. I also bought my other friend's birthday presents. And yeah, so it was a pretty good day, but I did get a bit carried away. So the shops I got carried away in, beauty were Boots, Lush and a little bit in Primark as well so I'll start off with Primark so they do they started doing a beauty range in there that I had a look through didn't really fancy anything apart from I've been looking for a nude nail varnish um, this was 80 pence it was in the sale 80 pence instead of a pound it's a really nice nude colour but I'm a bit debatable about how long it's going to last so we'll see how that goes but yeah 80 pence you can't go wrong also I absolutely love Primark stick on nails they are like my favourite thing ever I wear them all the time because I can't always afford to get my nails done I've got hundreds and hundreds of them uh, but I just every time I go in I buy more so I've got some silver ones with like a V pattern on and I've got some black and white stripy ones it. not beauty but to tell you about it they Primark do a great candle range the candles smell really good and last such a long time and are really reasonably priced this is a new scent for this year called sweet vanilla and coconut it smells like heaven really does they last a long time as well and like they burn evenly I have a few of their candles and they're all really really good quality and for three pounds for that for a big jar that burns for 40 hours. You cannot go wrong at all. Love Primark. Um, so that was what I got out of Primark. Um, boots, I got, I went in for hairspray and nail varnish, no, and eye makeup remover. I got hairspray. I got, got to be rise and shine, volume and shine hairspray. Anything got to be, I absolutely adore. So this should be good. Yeah, I also like the fact it's a rose gold container. And then I got this got to be all star because it's new and it's styling styling treatment 10 in 1. So it's supposed to help give shine, fullness, strength, thickness, smoothness, suppleness, protection, anti-frizz, anti-humidity, humidity and shape. And it's what you put on when your hair's damp before you uh, blow dry it. So I'll have got that. It smells nice though. Yeah, it smells good. Um, I also got, I needed some dry shampoo. So I got this Colab dry shampoo, which I believe is by a YouTuber. Uh, Ruth Krilly? It's really, I don't know. Um, so I thought I'd try that. Again, it smells good, so that helps. So that's like hair products. I got, I did get some eye makeup remover. I got the Garnier Express 2-in-1 Eye Makeup Remover. Removes all eye makeup, even waterproof. What has ultra efficiency and protects eyelashes. No rubbing required. That's what I need in my life. So it's like half purple. I don't know if you can see half purple and half clear. And it's like thick. So yeah. And obviously I got the good old cotton wool pads to use that with um, so that's I went for that and I got that then I these are my traditional favorites it's a collection I used to call it collection 2000 and I wear blue mascara and eyeliner because I think black is a bit harsh for me sometimes so I wear blue and it's kind of became like my little trademark I wear it all the time I'm kind of the only person I know who wears it all the time uh, the only time I wear black is when I go out on a night or I'm going somewhere special um, or I've got time. I think black takes so much longer to put on. Black eyeliner takes a lot longer to put on. Black mascara gets everywhere but I think this is just a lot easier to put on. Also I've been putting it on since I was like 11 so that helps. So I get the collection Extreme Coloured Lengthening Mascara in blue obviously blue, and the intense colour super soft roll pencil in bluebell 
and that's what I wear every single day and I just need the new ones so there we go. They're also super cheap. The mascara is 2 99 and the, I think it's 2 99 receipt. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the mascara is 2 99 and the pencil is 1 99 So yeah, can't go wrong at all with that. Um, then I've, oh, I've wanted to try this for a long time. It's the Genie Barry M lipstick that goes on green and is supposed to then turn to your perfect shade of pink. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to see what that is. It's a really cute little packaging. It's pink and green. It's called Genie, and let's just see if it works. It's magic. It was like four pound on offer, so I said, why not? Um, I went into Boots before I went into Primark, so I got my nude, a nude nail varnish in in boots as well, a Barry M nude um, and then saw this and thought it's 80 pence, let's get it and see so I'm going to do a little comparison with that. The Barry M one is a bit more pink whereas the Primark one is more of a beige colour so yeah we'll see how they go and then today in boots they were just giving away free Essie, Essie, yeah, Essie nail varnish, I know it's tiny but that's, that's good, that. Oh, look at that little nail varnish. It's a really nice colour as well. It's called Naughty Nautical 266. And they were just giving them away when you when you bought something, you got a little nail varnish, which is super good. But the woman was like, oh, you got in quick because I'm running out. I was like, ah, yes, freebie. Can't go wrong with a freebie. And then I went into Lush and I spent forever in there. Um, because I just like looking around and smelling and everything. I also had a really nice conversation with two of the people who work there. And I really enjoyed going in there just because the people are really nice. So yeah, I start off with this. I got this Marilyn hair treatment. I've been told to get it off loads of people because it's for blonde hair. Um, it's a hair mask. It says, let your blonde have more fun. Pre-wash treatment for blondes who want, their, who want lighter, brighter hair. Like my hair goes really like quite dark and um, like quite t t like an ash blonde, grey blonde, horrible blonde. So I'm hoping this will do something. This also smells great. Um, it's supposed to keep brassy orange tones from building up in your hair. So yeah, that's great. Um, and the girl said sh she had really long hair. Sorry, my camera just got sick of recording and decided to switch off. I must get a new camera if I'm going to keep doing this stuff. So yeah, carrying on with Lush. So I got the Marilyn hair mask. Then I got this shower gel, which is called Prince Charming, which loads of people have raved about on YouTube. Um, Sprinkle of Glitter raved about it. This and the next product, actually. I think she's talked about in her YouTube videos. Um, so it's called Prince Charming, it's got marshmallow root, I didn't know marshmallows had roots, but marshmallow root, fair trade vanilla, fresh pomegranate, prin um, fresh, fresh pomegranate juice, Prince Charming will sweep you off your feet and carry you off into the sunset, leaving your skin silky soft smelling, soft, silky soft and smelling lovely, I can't read, no. And it's vegan as well, and they're against animal testing. I love everything that Lush is. Just think sometimes it's a little bit overpriced. Uh, this was four pound, four pound twenty-five, I think. Receipt, receipt. Four pound seventy-five. Wow, no, it's four pound seventy-five. And I know they're all handmade, and they're vegan, and they're fair trade, and they're completely wholesome and fabulous. Just think for how much is this? 100 grams. I don't know, it just seems a little bit. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about them. But if it's amazing, then I don't see why I wouldn't, wouldn't pay that much for it. We'll see how long it lasts. If it lasts long, then why not? We'll see. But this next thing, I bought it to try because I think I'm going to buy it for my friend for her birthday. So I'm going to try it first. It basically it was an excuse for me to buy it uh, because it is the most glo glorious looking thing on the planet. Look at that! It's a little unicorn horn. So yeah, 
It's a bath bomb. It's a unicorn horn. I can't remember what it's got in it. it smells good though. It's got little stars all over it. It's lots of different colours. I think it has shea butter in it. I think I read that somewhere. But no, it smells really good. But your hands end up like really shimmery after you've touched it. So I'm going to try this. And then if it's good, I'm going to buy my friend it for her birthday to go in with her presents. So we'll see how that goes. I'm excited to use it. Um, so yeah, that's my little sort of beauty haul, I guess. Um, yeah, and I just went to get nail varnish, no, I keep on going to say nail varnish remover. I didn't go to get nail varnish remover. I have nail varnish remover. I went to get eye makeup remover, hairspray, and Scott's birthday present. And I got a lot more than that. And I'm quite happy with that. I don't mind that. That's fine. I can handle that. So yeah, cool. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I always think this is a little bit like weird because there's not very many people who watch my videos. But if you liked it, like the video. And if you like me and maybe want to see some more stuff, subscribe maybe. Uh, that would be nice. Cause